Welcome back to Hala Hala. Before the break, dancer, choreographer, and director Ricky Carranza took us back to when he first was introduced to dance. Now he's here to talk about his documentary, Beyond the Block. Ricky, I want to know more about this documentary because I hear you've been working on it since maybe 2006, right? mm -hmm. and it's about to be released. But um, what inspired you? I think the uh, the, the present uh, situation of the dance scene, in, in not only in the Philippines but around the world, that kind of uh, that, that inspired me, and uh, I I I see now that a lot of people are into into new school, into you know to to hip hop, right. but I wanted to share what we have gone through and what it was called and what it was like back in the days, yeah. and and since I uh, I know a lot of people who have been forgotten. Mm -hmm. Uh, but significantly integral to the development of street dance in the Philippines, I said, okay, uh, you know, I entertained the thought, and then a, a, a well-known cinematographer, a good friend of mine, planted the seed in me, and he said that, hey, uh, you're the last of your kind, you know, uh, so why, why, you're the last of, I'm the, basically, you know, with all due respect, you know, and, and modesty, that I am probably the oldest active a street dancer coming from the Philippines. Wow. Yeah, because I'm 50. <laughs> you do not look 50, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> but how does that feel to know that you're one of the oldest um, street dancers? It's a, it's a big responsibility, I think. Yeah. That uh, I think that it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's on me. That I feel that I should uh, try to educate the the next generation and then share some of my experiences that hopefully that will make them better, not only as a person but also as a professional in their career. Because there's so many pitfa pitfalls, you know, so many you know, uh, you, know you know possible possible pits that you might uh, fall into. Yeah, exactly. So was there a lot of pressure uh, when you were working on this documentary? Oh, yes, a lot of pressure yeah. because uh, first of all, I uh, I have not been to any uh, film school. I was just basically <laughs> it on my own and I just said uh, it's trial and error I just keep on shooting and shooting and shooting it so that's that's what it is so you know trial and error on my part you know that you know. and you, I read that you traveled all over the world yes yeah what are some of the places that you went to so I uh, I basically I went to look for all these people I know mm -hmm. who are who were significant in the, the history of Filipino street right. dance and at the same time the new cats right. kind of taking the flag now <laughs> So I went to uh, Middle East, mm -hmm. to Dubai. I went to um, Australia, yeah. and of course in uh, in Asia, uh -huh. different places, Singapore, and of course in America. I look for here, uh, look for them here, and then I went to Canada too, mm -hmm. and then also in, in uh, Europe. I right. went to England, to Italy. I went back there because I found out that there are some people there, and so. Basically around the world. Around the world. Yeah. Was there um, a similarity from everybody in different worlds, did you find, or was it all different, the, their form of dance or how they saw dance? No, I think it's because of the, the media that, uh -huh. you know, somehow people are copying everyone. <laughs> Every <laughs> was there a trendsetter? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's kind of good and not, you know, yeah. not good at the same time. Because back in the days, we didn't have YouTube. Oh, you have yeah, to be so true. quick. You know, and when you watch a television, of course you will copy, you get some yeah. ideas, but at the same time, because it's so quick, uh -huh. you cannot copy it identical. Mm -hmm. So eventually you will have to create your own. So, right. but you know, it's advantageous for us right. because it trained me to be creative, yeah. to be uh, self-sufficient mm -hmm. rather than Okay, I'm gonna uh, rewind this YouTube. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and everyone it. is like a clone of somebody. Yeah, and exactly. it's not good. I think it's kind of somehow kills the you, creativity. You need some kind of uniqueness, right? I think back in the days, uh -huh. when you see a certain group, you know, like right. a dance group or an individual, mm -hmm. when he moves, you know that that's him, yeah. or that's oh that's the group. Yeah. That's this is that group. But nowadays, you know, like they all look the same. Almost like, the same. They almost right? like, like, you know, like <laughs> cut into, you know, like a big piece cut into small pieces. Who are some of your favorite dancers? Uh, now or before? Before. Before? Oh, man. Of course, Michael Jackson and yeah. nobody, nobody. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Before Michael was doing all those slides, we were already doing it. I'm sorry to say that. But that was the. Before you he started. We were already doing yeah, it. Yeah, he was. Yeah, we knew it back then. He, yeah. we, as a matter of fact, I even met the guy guys who taught him oh, really? yeah and became good friends of mine and even also taught me so we yeah Michael Jackson was good he has his own style he personalized it right. and uh, back in the days I liked lockers doing all kinds of stuff <laughs> and I like the the strutters the poppers from from here from the right. bear who are not 
no, not well known, not famous, but uh, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, for people, we don't have to love dance or understand all the different moves and types of dance to watch the documentary, right? No, oh no, no, I, no. I think it's because it's, it's, uh, it speaks about uh, Filipino. Uh, how much Filipinos uh, love to dance right. and music, how much we are so, you know, attached to it, yeah. I think. And then at the end of the day, no, 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 no matter or wherever you are from, whether you're Filipino from America or from Australia, mm -hmm. we're all the same. Some, for some reasons, I think it is embedded into our blood, into, embedded into our genes, that mm -hmm. this love for music. And that's, I think, the reason why yeah. all the dance competitions in every major dance scene around mm -hmm. the world, mm -hmm. there's always Filipino. Yeah, that's true. All the I time. think world of dance, there's hip hop, even on the reality TV shows, you know, there's always Filipino. And, and people don't know, like, you know, coming from, from, from my side right now in Europe, because uh -huh. I'm surrounded with non-Filipinos, yeah. you know, and like, I can, I can only count them there. And nobody knows, like, right. you know, they're idolizing, like, you know, Jabberwockies, mm -hmm. you know, big guys, you know, super crew from America's Best Dance Crew. Right. And I said, <coughs> Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my documentary, <laughs> right? Check out Beyond the Blog. <laughs> when can we see your documentary, or where do we go for more information? It should be soon. Uh -huh. uh, we're working. We're almost done with the uh, the website, okay. uh, Beyond the Blog documentary. Uh, mm -hmm. We're almost there. Uh, it's actually finished, but we're just cleaning it up. I yeah. wanted to, you know, I've waited this long, so yeah. I wanted to make it perfect. So, okay. but I think that uh, for right now, we have I have been invited to a huge uh, hip hop conference in Manila in mm -hmm. February. Okay. Uh, it's a huge one, so they wanted to show it there. So maybe, nice. maybe we're gonna have the advanced yeah. screening there. Like, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> My fingers are crossed. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ricky, Thank for you, stopping Dad. by. I know you have to fly back to Finland. <laughs> yeah, in a few hours, in about five hours, I have. <laughs> yes. Thank you again. Thank you, Dad. And I'll be looking out for your documentary. Thank you so much. For more information on Ricky, be sure to head to the website that you see on the screen, and we'll let you know when his documentary comes out. Hopefully soon. We'll be back.